Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. When you're working out here like this, dealing with crime and violence and, and mostly the bad element of society, uh, you definitely need a hobby or something to, to loosen the tension up. Right now we've got a softball team put together that, that m most of the people on our squad are on and uh, we play on Friday nights and it's kind of a good thing to relax a little bit and have a good time together away from the job. We're going to check out this motorcycle up here. We had one reported stolen last week. So we're going to check it out and see if maybe it might be it. Make it 123. Ma'am, I have a black motorcycle filling yield on quarter line. Stand by. One twenty three B in ninety seventh place north of quarter line, uh, northbound, approaching Adobe. Hang a right, bro. Hang a right. 123 B. Eastbound Adobe from 97th. to have laid down, man. If I can get some footprints. <laughs> right where my car's at, Doug, he took off running northbound. I immediately went this way out towards the road to cut him off. Speeding and failure, unlawful flight. 
He took off running north down here. I thought he laid down because the minute I got over to the road, I didn't see him cut across and didn't see him go this way. The bike down here? Yeah. It's right, we run it yet or? it's right underneath my car. Uh, haven't ran it yet, but I know there was a stolen Kawasaki on that had an ATL here a couple days ago, and I noticed that's what it was when it went by. I'm not sure if it's the same one. No, well, let's make the dispatcher happy and run it. <coughs> What's that? In this, within this perimeter, we got a tight perimeter set up. Show me your hands! Right down! Show me your hands! Get him out! Put your hands back now! Put them back! Put them back! The radio. 191, we've got one in custody. Your other hand! Bring it! Your other hand. You want the dog? You want the dog? Put your hand back here now! Stand up. She had to get some stuff out of here. Pat him down. Watch out. What's wrong with the car here? One twenty-three. Can you roll fire to my location? It's a glass pipe used for smoking meth and other choice drugs. Got everything? Gee. Dispatch is telling her that it is a confirmed stolen. Stolen out of Scottsdale. He definitely was driving with no regard for safety of anybody on the road, including ourselves. I'm just glad it didn't last too awful long. Anyway, we ended it pretty soon or pretty quick. Way to go, T. Hey, you guys, right on the spot, buddy. Oh, good trash, good trash. We were just in the right place at the right time, it looks like. Since I've been out here, I, I recently started coaching soccer clinics for underprivileged youth. Right now, I'm just going to go by a soccer shop where the owner offered to donate a soccer ball to the clinics. So we're just going to swing by and pick it up before he closes. Before we even find a parking spot. How you doing? Hey, how you doing, Tom? Ball came in for the clinic here. All right, great. This one right here. Ah, great. How's that one feel? Good. I think the kids will love this. Yeah, feels great. Hey, thanks a lot. Hey, thank All you, right, Tom. You have a good one. All right, you too. One Charlie 17 and one Charlie 17. One Charlie 17 going 97. We're out to a domestic violence call. Subject's got a knife, apparently. Um, we've got a unit on scene right now, so I'm just getting this information over the 21, over the uh, phone, and dispatch. So we can get a location on it. Yeah, units on the south, units on south 75. I'm being told now it's number. We just back in the south country folks side of the complex, the far east row. Sounds like it's going to be a guy I dealt with. Yeah. Well, it's, the, it's in the country club side, the old country club, the South Encanta, at the far east row in the complex. 
One Charlie 17, do we have a name on the subject? That big fire truck there, Michelle. The real big one with the lights on. Yeah, it's going to be him. Uh, oh, I've got my two. She got a knife? He had that phone in his hand. And some other guy just took off in the trailer right there. Yeah. Into that one? With the door? Okay. You want to have him sit? Yeah, do you know how to tell him to go down there? Amigo, siéntate. Siéntate. Manos arriba. Manos arriba. Siéntate. Manos en la cabeza. Okay, he's bleeding. He's bleeding. Good. Hey, watch out. Harvey, just watch your back. Supposedly one guy went over that way. What do you say? He's saying that somebody in the street, um, you got to find someone in the street doesn't know who it is. I'm looking over there. They ran that way. So he won't say, he's, he's trying to say it's not his uh, stepson? Yeah, he's saying it's just a person he doesn't know. There's no person there. See if we can talk to the 101. Yeah. Stepson's the one who called, right? I don't need a hospital. Uh, you need a hospital? No, 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 no. I, I, I work at the water home. You go to work? Yeah. Like that? I work there every day. Okay. You work at the water for me? Just have them look at you right here. Make sure you're okay. I don't, I don't know. It's free, man. It ain't gonna cost you anything. I'm, I'm fine. You look bad. You don't look fine. The water's fine, fine. So, hey, what's going on? All I know is that there was a fight between the stepson and him, and they now went back to go find the stepson who's supposedly still at the house. Okay, so we got basically a domestic situation. Basically then. domestic. These guys were beating each other up. Okay. I don't know Did how Did you get to see the stepson? Oh, okay. I, did, I didn't see him yet, so I don't know how he looks. All right. Hello. We'll have paramedics check him out before we decide on what's going to go on. What do you get All right. you with? Bresman's going over to check out the... Uh... Yeah, and Red Wing. They're going over there. I know, but I didn't get um, It sounds like he was in the shower. Um, stepdad punches um, stepdaughter here in the stomach. Okay, he comes so stepdad the... punches stepdaughter. Stepdaughter in the stomach. Stepbrother... Sees it. ...comes out, and uh, stepdad starts fighting with him. Okay. And they just do go at it. So, so stepbrother's basically two defending his sister. Assaulted, yeah. How did he get cut in his eye? Okay. He comes out of the shower and um, sees dad beating on stepdaughter and I guess mom now too. And uh, as soon as he walks out of the shower, he picks up a video and throws it and strikes him in the head. So and that's how he got he the injury. See, he comes outside, and I'm, I'm haven't got to the point yet now where I don't know if he's the one that started fighting with him. She was fighting with him. Okay. Okay. Yeah, both of these were pretty much defensive, fighting against him. Okay. To get him out, uh, away from him. Okay, it happens every eight days. Basically, he comes out of the shower and gets hit in the eye with a movie. He can't see anything, so he comes stumbling out of the the uh, trailer. And then mom and, and the daughter are trying to defend themselves against him, and that's how he got all his, his wounds. Okay. So. So it's basically self-defense on their part. Yeah, sounds okay. like it. Let's go pay him a visit then. How did your eye get like that? Huh? How did you get hurt? My my son. Your son? Him. Yeah. Or the daughters? Yeah, the the, no, the boys. The boys. Yeah. This is one boy. Uh, well, the daughters are saying they're the ones that yeah, did that to you. Yeah. Son. The two. Both All of them? them? Yeah. I pay for everything, for my wife and... Okay. Okay. Were they trying to stop you from fighting with your wife? Yeah. Yes or no? Yeah. They were trying to I stop you from to, fighting uh, with your wife, uh -huh. and that's how you got hurt? No, I don't have a problem with that right now. Okay. No All problem. right, you can't fight with your wife. It's illegal. No. That's why you're going to jail. Do you understand? No problem. No problem. Okay. Go to the car. 
<laughs> stepson was basically defending the uh, the stepmother and his sister. So they're gonna take him down and book him down into the uh, our holding facility for domestic violence assault. I think the people out here really support us, and I think uh, the majority of them think we're doing a good job. And you know, I obviously don't do this for money. I do this because I I love my work, and uh, I think it's an important asset to society. You know, we're really just the fine line. We divide the fine line between chaos and order. And, uh, you know, it's pretty neat to be part of it. What's your 1897? Sure. We're uh, being dispatched to a family fight over here in our city. Apparently, uh, it's a male and female having an argument. I think the male threw out the female and shut the door behind her. And now she's pounding on the door trying to get in. I guess we have a unit there on scene, and we're going to be pulling up there momentarily to find out what's going on. Do you have any ID? Yeah, I have an ID. Yeah, I have an ID. Come on, any day now. Any day. I already told you once. I've, I've given you ample time. Who's inside, you, who's inside the apartment? What's this? I have no apartment. I have no nothing. Do you have ID in here? Yes, I have ID in there. I have my social security number. Find out nothing. Should we know who you are? <laughs> Catherine, you have some extra stuff right over here. I don't care. It's a bunch of... What is? Everything that I've done in my life. If you don't watch your mouth, you can't put it there anyway. I don't care. You think I care about medicine? Did anybody talk to anybody inside now? No. I'm dealing with her. All right. Why? Because of what? Listen, Catherine, listen. As of right now. Catherine. Right? Catherine, listen. As of right now, okay, we're just trying to find out what's going on. What's going on? Is that a free white 21 year ticket? You made a passport for nothing? This isn't a passport. Yes, it is. It's to get me to New Mexico. That has nothing to do with what you're doing. All right, all right, all right. Listen, just pick up. Listen, just do me a favor. Just pick up the rest of your underwear. Let's put it inside your uh, bag here. I knew I know that I'm going to go to jail for it. Like, I give my... You didn't make me go to jail for that? For picking up one, two, three, four pairs of underwear? And you're going to make me go to jail for it? I did everything I can in my power for this. What? Catherine. Get yourself a damn corner. Catherine, let me explain something to you right now, okay? If you disturb the peace, you're going to be hooked up and you're going to go to jail, okay? So if I were you, I would settle down a little bit till we find out what's going on here. I'm not going to play this game anymore. I don't care about anything else in this community. That, that's fine, okay? I don't care about a stupid <laughs> As a matter of fact, the only thing I care about right now is keeping the peace, and apparently you're, you're disturbing it. nothing. You have yeah. nothing to know in a bit about keeping the peace. Are you the manager, ma'am? Why don't you come down there and talk to the officer? Is she going to be 15, Tom? You went through the house toes. You have no idea what you it's like, like about keeping the peace. $25 I can't for a single... Filming cat. $25 I can't for a single thing. Yeah, for a single thing. Yeah, for a single thing. All right, pay. give me a favor. Stand. We're going to help you. We're going to give you a ride. Gonna, come, on, come, on, come on, stand up. Come on, stand up. Stand up. Come on, stand up. Stand up. Come on. You guys... There you go. Watch your hand. Do you understand as of right now you're under arrest? I know I Shannon, you are under arrest Why? for three counts. Just one of your conduct. Serving the peace. Just 
understand that? Watch your head. Come on. There's just no peace in it. And watch your head. Good. Get her stuff together. Oh, my purse. I'm going to put all of this. I'm going to put all of this stuff. Don't take this stupid baby. On, in one bag. Let me down. Hold one, two, three. That's the end. Good. You ready to go? You're not willing to be nice. Willing to be nice when I'm white of America. I have the freedom. Because why? Oh, don't drink because I'm white. White, 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 white. Watch your head. White. I'm serious. Welcome to the Give me a call on your primary five five seven four. Okay. I'm nothing wrong. You want to see your stink? You want to eat my stupid? So she just showed up. She showed up. She came over and she started drinking from their liquor cabinet by herself. The two residents in there are sober as can be. And uh, she just started making an issue about a uh, box of cigarettes. That and that's it. That's what sparked the whole thing. That's it. A pack of cigarettes. She'll spend a night and be seen in the morning by a judge. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Covers code 3. Thanks, Ted. Okay, 2514. Ted, transmit on tag 2. Okay, we'll still send a code 3. o'clock the night till seven o'clock in the morning uh, people would call it the worst shift of the uh, of the department but uh, this is the best place to work if you're going to work in the city of Tucson as a police officer there's operations division south midnights on the weekends I want to make a note of that unit I'm behind you let's go ahead and stop that one what is the location of where you're stopping? It's going to be I-19 in Irvington. Uh, Irvington, I-19. It looks like it's occupied by one. 1083, unit that's at Irvington and I-19. Okay, Irvington, 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 I-19. Okay, one Lincoln North, don't look like he's going to stop. You ever get area off the uh, doggy? Yeah, he's continuing on. We're at normal speeds, uh, 25, 30 miles an hour. Uh, negative pursuit. Uh, we do not have our lights on anymore. We're just going to follow it. You King, one you zebra have it coming up. Okay, uh, failed to stop the stop sign at 13th and. Uh, Nevada, we're southbound on 13th. I think this is going to be our 43 suspect. Okay, we got a, uh, he's failing to stop, so this, uh, this is probably going to be our 43 suspect. Uh, we're getting the air unit over on dog unit before we, uh, one Lake of Nor, we are now westbound on Montana. And we're still pretty much normal speed, 25 miles an hour. One Lincoln North blue stop sign at 17th, northbound on 17th from Montana. 
Montana. Westbound, 1050, 1050. Okay. Open your door, open your door. Open your door. Stay in your car, stay in your car. Do not move out of the car, stay in the car. Stay in the car. Let me see your hands. I want to see hands. Hands. There's two people in the car. Two people in the car. Put your hands up. Hands up now. There's two people in the car. One in the back laying down. One in the back laying down. Spanish speaker. Jose. Jose. Got it. Okay. He's trying to get the first one back to get their hands up. Okay. 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 Los dos pasajeros, dejen ver sus manos. Manos arriba. Necesitamos ver sus manos. Okay, I see one hand, one hand. One hand. Abre la puerta del lado izquierdo. Abra la puerta del lado izquierdo. Salga con las manos en alto. Deje ver sus manos. Volteese, volteese. Ok, start walking backwards. Put your hands above your head. Put your hands up. Walk around, turn around. Walk back. Keep coming, keep coming back. You got him, Josh. You got him, Josh. I got him. Keep coming back. Don't look back. Get down on your knees. 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 Who else is back there? Who else is back there? Who else is back there? Is, that, is he the only one? Where's the gun? Where's the gun? I don't know. Okay, there's a gun in the car though. Can he move? Stand up. There is a gun in the car. Can he move? Can he move? Stand up. Okay, stand up. Walk back here. Walk back. Passenger, you can't stand up. Now that's how we take care of business. He was in the back seat, yeah. Yeah, I see the holster. Goes to show you airbags work. Yeah, there's a holster. Let's see if we can see it again. I don't think he could have tossed it while we were behind him. No. I can't see. I don't see anything else other than what you just grabbed. Okay, here's the gun right here. He's got it shoved in this back seat right here. Right. And it is cocked. It is cocked. This, this, he was ready to play. Yeah, uh, the gun's in the back seat shoved between the uh, seat. You can see it. Okay. She's saying uh, they're just going to the store to get some munchies. I mean, that's yeah, and he, she, she said she parked. He goes in. She sees him running out with a gun. She drives up. What are you doing? He gets in. He says, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. It's all my fault. I don't want to get you in trouble. I'm just going to take off. So why didn't she stop? She was scared. He was telling her not to stop. Though. Well, that's felony uh, I know. Uh, fleeing. That's what I told her. Okay. No, he's scared. She, she gets the F rank for that. Yeah. He's been busy. In a few places. He definitely stole the jacket. We got the camera right here. It's a video camera. Then the jacket. I'm not sure about this other stuff, where he got that from. We may have an individual that, uh, that goes around, uh, My understanding, he tried to uh, shoplift, and he was stopped. He pulled the uh, gun on the security officers. And, uh, we'll get them down here, identify him, and then from there we'll uh, we'll put this guy where he belongs. Give him the kind of uniform that he belongs. Orange, it says Pima County Jail. I've been a police officer in Mesa for about six and a half years now. Um, I was kind of introduced to law enforcement from... Uh, 
my father, he was a cop. He went on a ride along with me right after I got out on my own. And the first stop I made, he saw some guy throw a bag of methamphetamine out of the vehicle. So uh, he got me a felony arrest first time he rode with me. Okay, what we're going to now is a uh, domestic dispute or a guy uh, disturbing. It's just up the road here. We're going to go up and see what's going on. For Chile 2797. No, it's not, it's not. You stay, okay. you just need it. You just need to maintain. Can I water? Just stay right there. Turn around here, water. No. Okay, we're sending paramedics, all right? Is anybody else in here with you? What is that cord there? Just stay right there. All right. Is there anybody else in here? I don't know. I haven't got a chance to check. That's what I was about to do. Oh. I'm going to be out of I'm sorry, which unit's out of 537? Poor Charlie, I wanted to get the lamp away from you. Okay. Yeah. Good knife. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I, I see. Okay, I, I am. I'm sitting. I'm sitting. Why, is that, why is that lamp cord on um, there? Is that what you're using to tie it up uh, or what? No. Yeah, so that no, way, I just grabbed it when I realized here, you need, you need to. to here, oh. hand me the lamp cord. When I realized I had done too much, I can't. On. If we take this off, man, it's... Okay, well, you're going to be fine. Okay. 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 Whatever. Hurry. I got to get it back on. I know it's not the recommended thing. Make sure. it works. Oh, man. Whew. Come on. Fast, guys. Fast. Calm down, man. Uh, it's it's really hard to calm down when you're when you, you think you're going to die. Whoa. Yeah. How much I'm about speed ready did to you pass do? Out. Uh, I'm not sure. You're not sure? Mm -hmm. I'm not How much did you buy? Okay. Okay. Not hate. Okay. Wow. I'm going, guys. No, you're not. Whoa. Oh, man. What's up? Um, Sandy's overdosed on Sandy's speed, you said? Can I get some underwear on, please? Oh, you said you overdosed on speed? Yes. yes. Could you give me another pair of underwear on my bag? Oh, okay. Okay. What did you take, man? Oh. 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 Oh, you live with anybody? I really need to have a tiger. They're coming up behind you, baby. Do you live with anybody? Nobody. Let me see I, you have, I have a roommate. Right now, he's, uh, he's at UCLA Medical Center. He just had a, a liver transplant. Oh, man. Can I take your watch off? Get it way up here. Yeah, get it up here. Um, I, I really need the tourniquet belt off. The spoon and the needle are back there. Watch it. They too late for that. Left the shower on, so there's water all over that. Okay, can I have water? Oh, man. 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 Oh, man.
Hang on. Oh, okay. You, you get that beer? Yep. Okay. Hey, Patrick, do you have any house keys so we can lock up here? Oh, uh, yeah. Why don't you just get outside and then we'll give them uh, the house keys there, okay? There. On my, on my table, where my big on my table. It should be on his nightstand. Well, he wrapped that cord around his arm. If we hadn't have gotten here when we did, he probably would have lost his arm. Yeah, probably. He had wrapped the uh, the lamp cord around his arm, and he had both of those around his arm. He also broke the light and the lamp when he was doing that, and ended up cutting himself all up and and things like that, so he definitely uh, paid a large price for this fix. When you take methamphetamine like that, it uh, raises your blood temperature and, and your body temperature. You can do just about anything, especially in a hot climate like this, to cool yourself down. This guy took his clothes off. He had the shower running. There's water all over his bathroom. And uh, then he decided that the best thing he could do was to wrap a tourniquet around his arm because he thought that would keep the methamphetamine from getting into his blood system. But it was already there, so he wrapped it around his arm tight enough to leave a bruise to uh, try and prevent the methamphetamine from getting into his system. Well, there's his drug paraphernalia. That's what we found in the bathroom. So after what he admitted he used methamphetamine with it so you'll be able to charge him with uh, possession of drug paraphernalia with that Let's go. the uh, midnight shift works real well for me uh, all my kids are grown uh, my wife works for the police department as does one of my daughters and uh, my wife and I keep the same days off so we have a weekend like normal people We're going to a fight in progress at a convenience store. Uh, the uh, combatants have moved to a uh, lot just west of the store, and we're going to go over there and see if we can find them. There's a uh, white male, 30s unknown clothing, and a black male, 30s red shirt, and black shorts are involved in the incident. Two Lincoln North, they're still fighting here. Only. Break it up! Okay, I'm going to go up to the Lincoln North and get some more help. Okay, Lincoln North. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Flat! Sir, I wasn't doing nothing. Lay down. Put your hands behind your back. Put them behind your back. Okay. Got anything in your pockets? No, oh, man. Why didn't you stop when I told you I to? Did, I was holding them. I was trying to keep them from hitting me. Lay down. Okay. Okay. Let them both sit there for a second. Let me talk to security. What happened? They were on the phones. Apparently, they started arguing back and forth. I asked them to take it off property. Mutual arguing. I don't know. I had a customer come in and tell me I had a fight about ready to break out out here. So okay. I was inside. Um, I came out. The Caucasian male. I finally got him off property. Uh, the black male I was talking to here, the other man wouldn't hush up. Uh, using profanity, calling him boy, things like that. I told him, I said, you need to just go, you know, come this way. Um, apparently the black gentleman had his car stolen about four hours ago, so he's not having a good day anyway. He's having a worse day now. Yes, he is. Well, we heard glass break over there, so we were really concerned. Okay. Um, anyway, you know they were just mo dis disorderly conduct on your life. Disorderly lot. conduct Both of them. here. Okay. Exactly. What's your name? Samantha. The was it disruptive to the business the way they were arguing? Well, it? when I have a customer come in and tell me about it, then okay, I then it is. Okay. All right. Well, we'll charge disorderly conduct on both of them. Uh, reference the incident. Okay. And uh, do any of the clerks witness what happened? No. Did you guys witness? No. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I'll get your case number before I leave. Thank you. Okay. Why didn't you guys break it up when she told you to? Huh? 
Both of you. I was not hitting him, if you remember that. Yeah, I told you guys both to break it up a couple times. That's so all you had to do was stop. I was trying to. I was just, I was not hitting him, though. You do the exact thing. Okay. Stay right where I told you, sir. Okay. Sip your butt right there where I told you to. <sighs> okay, you sit there. I'll roll the windows down a little bit. Okay. The bottom line is this. They don't want you ever on the property over here again. Okay? And you're going to be charged with disorderly conduct fighting. I'm going to have med unit come over and give you a little first aid, wash your face off. Well, sir, he started. You know what? When I come up, you were both mutually at it. So you well, know what? The reason why, because he's bigger than me. You see that belt right there? That's yeah. his weapon on me. So how in the hell am I supposed to defend myself? When so all you had to do was break off when I get out of the car. And you oh, didn't do that. Not big. He's bigger than me. What do you expect for me to do? Well, you're supposed to stop That's when just I like tell if you you're to. beating on me. What am I supposed to do when you're twice my size? Okay, I want you to sit down. And right I there. have no Come weapon. On. Sit down. I have no weapon. Sit down. He had a sit belt. Down. I had nothing. There you go. You stay right there. What am there. I supposed to do? Well, I ask when I tell you to I'm stop to fighting, de you, you should law. stop. You should stop. Well, he wasn't trying to stop. And what you both were arguing over there. You he shouldn't. Be, you shouldn't be arguing on someone's property. You're disruptive. The customers are coming in. You got a couple little cuts on your head. I'm going to make sure that they get treated. I'm going to have a meds come over and look at you and give you a little water for your face. All I was trying to do, officer, was defend myself. This his belt. Yeah, that's the belt. He was this is your your me. money. That's my money. He was swinging that belt at me. I probably got some cuts on my arm. Officer, how am I being charged with disorderly conduct? And he's he started violence with me. Okay, well. What I got was that you were both, sir, what I got from talking to the, the, the security guard, you both were yelling and carrying on and being disruptive at the store, outside the store. Oh. And she told he, you both to leave. He, no, she let me, I was talking to her, and he was over here, she kicked him off the property. Mm hmm So I walked over here to talk to him, and that's when he starts swinging right better. Sit down right there. You don't wait what I wait. No, he's close. Sit your butt down and let the fireman... Can you do me a favor and work it out a little bit? And he's got a couple cuts on his head. Mutual combat fight. Uh, the, the new development is the gentleman with the uh, gray shirt on and the blue shorts was allegedly involved in an incident where he applied at a uh, convenience store for a job and that he uh, didn't get the job. And two weeks later, uh, they're alleging that he came back and robbed the place did a robbery yesterday so right now we're trying to ascertain if we have a witness that can uh, put him at the scene and we'll more will develop later and he also also gave me a fake name so he's going to be charged with uh, disorderly conduct and false information and then we're going to decide if he gets charged with the robbery from yesterday walk up to their window, they're actually in control of how well that goes. If they treat us nicely and with respect, we initially, everybody's treated with respect. You know, we're all human beings and we're just out here, you know, trying to protect them. Somebody starts coming off with an attitude or mean, well, then that kind of depicts our attitude and we treat people accordingly. If they want to get rude, then we usually get rude back. They are armed and shots have been fired. We're headed off to a uh, armed robbery, a carjacking occurred. Uh, another agency right now is following the vehicle. We got a helicopter up overhead. 
and shots were fired. So we have an armed and dangerous person that's running from the police. Here he comes, guys. And he's got a weapon. That's them right up ahead. That's them getting off right there. They're going southbound on Ellsworth. Their speeds are in excess of 80 miles an hour. Okay, we're now officially in pursuit because shots were fired. We're we won't we won't cancel this pursuit. It's got to come to an end. Okay, we got another unit that's setting up stop sticks about four miles in front of the suspect. He's still doing about 80 miles an hour. If he continues southbound, we should be able to get a successful stop stick and end this safely. Okay, right up ahead, the cars that we see should be our cars in pursuit. Suspect vehicle's got two tires out from our stop stick in them. We're down to 60 miles an hour. Uh, no more shots have been fired, so we'll be looking for an opportunity to end this as soon as we can. That's them right up ahead. Oh, uh, we're, we're in it real quick here. I'm gonna let you take it. Let's wait for wait for it. Wait, wait, wait. Wait for a turn, Bugs. I'm not the lead car. We may try to take out the car. Drive straight on through, Doug. Clip the tire when it turns on the thing and drive straight on through it. Over. Boy, we're now heading into the Vidal County. We just turned eastbound on the highway. Now heading into the Vidal County, eastbound on the highway. Gentlemen, let me know. If you want me to take him on the side right now, I can do it. Doug, you got more room on the left-hand side. Head for I'll try it on the left. There we go, there we go. Spun him out, spun him out. Just spun out, he just spun out. Put your hands out! No, 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 get back, get back, back up, back up, back up. Gentlemen, I want you to put your hands out the window. Driver, I want you to crawl out the driver's window. Crawl out the driver's window. Crawl out now. Hold it, I got it, I got it, cut it, I'll cut it, I'll cut it, stand by. This vehicle was involved. They did. They shot it. I believe they shot at the police. They shot at the police. There's one of the weapons. The passenger, which is that gentleman right over there, he was the actual shooter. We may or may not have another weapon in the car, but uh, we were able to successfully sideswipe the vehicle and take him out and spin him out here and safely in this. There's actually black gunpowder residue going down this, the frame of the door. 
See what I'm talking about? See where it skimmed right across here? So he came up and actually shot. And look at this. That's gunpowder and the bullet ricocheting off of the window. This is what he did is he ran up on them. They started to pull away because they're scared. So he grabs for the door and starts to open it, shooting at the same time. Man. There it is right there. I'm glad they came out here in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Try to, try to hit a cop on McKellips and Gilbert Road when it first started. Head on type deal or? Yeah, they, he was on the side of the road. They swerved at him. They were just driving foolish everywhere. Well, sounds like we got an awful lot of charges on. Yeah, him. crime scenes everywhere. Well, I'm glad. This guy's it... real lucky right here. Oh yeah, that's that's eight real inches lucky. away from your head. Yeah. Man, it took us a long time to catch up. They were doing over 100 when they hit the stop stick. So the tires peeling off of the thing and flying yeah. in the air. Yeah, I got a lot of. I might even have cracks in the windshield after all the stuff that hit the windshield and the tires. It was it was awesome. It was awesome. I tried to pit him a couple times, and the turn I tried to pit him and couldn't get it. Couldn't get it. Yeah, I saw you line up on that one where you're gonna. Yeah, I was afraid. You, I was afraid you were gonna get hurt because we had a ditch on the one side, and yeah. then at the bridge I thought about it, and I was worried about us spinning off off of the bridge. Yeah, just can't force it. Waited for the right spot, hit the pit, put them off in the mud. After they hit the mud, they weren't going anywhere. That was that was excellent, excellent job. Thank you. Way to go. <laughs> Worked out well. Everybody's safe and sound. Bad guys are gone. Well, after. Uh going to school and uh, working for a while I did a ride along with a friend of mine from our Midtown division the whole night I ended up with a smile on my face and I thought it might be something I'd like to do so I uh, ended up going through a couple of testing processes all over the state and uh, was selected to go to uh, Tucson Police Academy where I graduated in 1998 since I graduated the academy I've been assigned for night two nights midnights for most of the time uh, I did some training during the daytime, but uh, nights is the place to be, and it uh, seems like where everything happens. Right now we're headed to uh, possibly a burglary in progress with... Uh, the night we were originally designated as a 911 hang-up, and a struggle ensued. So we're getting kind of second-hand information as to uh, what's actually going on. Iroquois, 4,000 north, 1,500 west. Street. No, it doesn't go anywhere, does it? This is my parents' house. Oh, okay. And I, I happen to live across the street. So what basically what happened is my brother was screaming, and I, I kept hearing, get down, get down, get down, or something. And I kind of woke up, and then I looked out the window, and I saw two guys, you know, I'm coming out of sleep, and right. I see two guys, and they're a pretty good distance from each other. And at first I couldn't tell it was Joseph. I just heard screaming, and I'm like, what are these guys doing? I'm just thinking they're two guys, you know, having a fight or something. And then I realize he starts saying, Bob, wake up. Somebody wake up. Help. And then that's when I realize, oh, my gosh, that's Joseph. What's going on? And he's they're just fighting. And that's finally when I got up and I told him to get to the door to see what was going on. And he walked outside and said that that guy had uh, had um, broke into the house and so that then I called the police. And okay. So. Your name? Kimberly. Uh, he's he's about as comfortable as he's going to be. Yeah, it looks he's like not so. Be very much more comfortable. Than him. Yeah. We'll let the paramedics. Uh... It didn't look like he had, like tried to break in or anything. It didn't look like someone was trying to open it forcefully. <laughs> Walked by my parents' bedroom, uh, I saw the bathroom door was shut, and I'm thinking that's not right because they've been out of town for the past two weeks. 
So I open the back, uh, the bathroom door, and he's right there. I step back. Then he comes at me, so, I, you know, I start fighting with him. I take him to the ground. I'm top of him, hitting him, just like, you know, st you know, stay here, stay down, stay down. I'm going to hurt you. I mean, I didn't want him to get up because, I mean, I hit him with all I had. And I don't know if he's on drugs or what, but most people would have, <laughs> you know. So my, my brother-in-law comes out. He says, you know, you need any help. And by that time, I had both his arms pinned down, and he was pretty much not there. So, and then, you know, two minutes later, he comes up, you know, and puts his uh, handcuffs on him. When he opened up the bathroom door, he found the suspect. He was sitting there with um, a box of jewelry, and um, then the fight was on. I don't know. This was found in his pockets. Not exactly sure where it came from, but let's see if somebody recognizes it. Yeah, it's already been ID'd. Okay. Yeah, the uh, homeowners already ID'd it. Oh, okay. It's theirs. Um, just photograph it and make sure it gets back to them. I guess ID's coming out. Yeah. So they'll take care of that. Is all that stuff just from this house? <laughs> that I'm not sure of. Okay. Um, I know they've ID'd pieces of it. I don't know how much they've ID'd. So they're the ones to talk to. Okay. Um, just because gonna... my purse was stolen Sunday from my house. Right. So. Um, it's, it's I'm possible. sure it's probably dumped somewhere anyway. But he's, he's already admitted some information to us, so we might be able to get your stuff back to right. Thank you. see what we can get. I plan eventually to get into the force, and so I kind of felt big and bad when I was doing it. <laughs> so, yeah. Good deal. Good job. Good job. Uh, you know, really, <laughs> I was talking smack to him. I said, you've got the wrong house, buddy. You should not have done this. And, you know, real honestly, my, my dad normally works the bar late at night, and he doesn't get home till 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning, and my stepmom waits up for him. I mean, if he had come in while she was there, I mean, she would have been in a world of hurt, and I'm glad it was me and not her. Yeah. I mean, or my dad. I mean, because... For sure. The victim putting the guy's head through the wall. Yeah. The guy, I guess the suspect tried to bite him in the chest. Well, that suspect's no, no small person either no, that suspects not. you know probably running 250 anyway now, he was a big guy because that's what he said he's a big guy he oh, goes yeah. he was just trying to he let him up a few times that's why there's that big mess throughout the whole house because he'd get done with him and say just stay there and then he tried to go make that 911 phone call and then the guy would get up so he'd have to wrestle him again or kick him or whatever he had to do to get him. <laughs> i think this victim did a very good job and the victim was thinking about um applying for our explorer program and the explorer programs for you know if you're, you're interested in, be, in law and you're not of age to apply to be a law officer you can you know do that that gets you an idea of what law enforcement is all about so i go go for it you got my vote so <laughs> the victim definitely put a hurting on that uh suspect it's good that we got here in time and uh nobody was really uh, injured that bad my dad worked for the sheriff's office and i got to ride with him uh, quite often and uh unfortunately he passed away four years ago so he never got the chance to see me uh, reach my goal, but I know that uh, if he could see what I'm doing, he'd be proud. Mesa PD's got a possible stolen vehicle that's failing to stop. Um, we're about three blocks away. I'm going to try to catch up to it and uh, set up the stop sticks. We're, right now we're about two blocks away. That's us right here. 123 on the, at the uh, University and 64th Street. Thank you, One more second.
This guy is going over 100 miles an hour and he's blacked out, uh, blowing red lights. Uh, he's going to hurt somebody. Apparently the vehicles rolled south of the university, south of uh, the freeway on power here. We should be there in a few seconds. He probably rolled on the curves up here. One twenty-two. Need a code four from you. One twenty-three. I'm twenty-three. Ten four. Is there anybody else in the car? No. No. Check the car. No, but that's smoking good. One twenty-three. It's code four. You ran from the police, is what you did, bro. Bobby. Go ahead. It's, it's just oil on the muffler. The column's punched. Oh, oh so. <laughs> There's another vehicle on the right side of the street, and he just flipped right in front of the vehicle and just took off. And he ran the first light at First Avenue, and I shut down because I, you know, can't pursue. So I shut down, and um, I just started calling it what the air unit was calling out, and he was going crazy. He almost struck me and another officer at 64th and Brown. I was at 64th and University with stop sticks. And he flung right by us. And I was like, and I turned after him, but I couldn't keep up with him. When did you, when you steal this truck, Sammy? I didn't. My friend let me use it. Your friend let you use it? Yes, sir. Okay. Did you notice that the column was cracked? Yes, sir. What did they do, man? He doesn't like you. He doesn't like me? Ah! Ah, man! Ah! Well, that feeling would be mutual. Yes, I think it would. Huh? I've never seen an eye move itself in the socket with the back. Yeah. That's basically what it's doing. He's in bad, bad shape. But I'm just glad nobody got hurt. Or no, none of the good guys got none hurt. None of the good guys. The way he's going out now is pretty common. It's pretty much the way all uh, stolen vehicles uh, end up. They end up crashing out, going off in the hospital. Basically, for a stolen car, he risked my life and every officer's life out here that was trying to catch him and trying to stop him, as well as the public. So uh, he's going he's gonna to do some time. He's gonna, once he finally gets out of the hospital, sometimes he thinks if you go to a hospital that, well, okay, I won't go to jail, but... After he gets out of the hospital, he'll go to jail, and then he'll go to prison, do the whole thing. They run like as if they're going to get away, and for they're never, they're not going to go away. I mean, there's nowhere to go. You can't outrun the radio. No matter how fast you can drive, you can't outrun the radio. You're done. That's a done deal. The driver of the vehicle is going to be transported to uh, probably Scottsdale Osborne for internal injuries. Uh, Unknown. He stated to one of the firefighters that he had been taking ecstasy, heroin, and drinking all day. His eyes were bugging out. His pupils were real constricted. He appeared to be way out there, not very coherent. A lot of times guys like this don't understand the danger that they put ourselves and the public uh, at risk. They don't even think about it. Um, this guy, obviously under the influence of drugs, didn't care. Uh, the sheriff's office and Mesa PD work together in uh, stopping him and keeping it from anybody else getting hurt. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, covers code 3. King 10. Good, 25, 14, 10, 10, mid on tag 2. Okay, we'll still send a code 3.